Cowboys! Tie out 85! Coming at you! Been a while! Hope everybody's doing well! Uh, got a bunch of shit to show. Maybe get my thoughts on what's been going on lately. Uh, maybe not. I made a video a while ago. They gave my thoughts, but it, it wasn't too positive, so I kind of thought I better turn it off. But anyway, I got a, a contest from uh, a long time ago from Gary Elbow Sausage, I think his name is. And I won a uh, Tony Larusa autograph on the Topps 40th anniversary, I believe, of baseball. Oh, wow, man. I haven't made a video in a while, man. I hope everybody doing well. So, uh, Titties card. Thank you, Gary. Elbow Sausage. Name will be in the description box. Give him a sub. Check him out. Um, he plays a little guitar, too. Then I actually got some from Ricky Russo a while back. You don't believe me? I can't remember what I... I did something, but he sent me a... Uh, uh, Walker, 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 Walker. What's this guy's name? To, to John, to Juan Walker from the Marins out of Bowman Sterling. And a out of Optic, number to 75, Kenny Clark of the Packers. So Mr. Russo autograph. Thank you, sir. Ricky Russo for the win. Hope he's doing well. I got a couple breaks, a bunch of breaks. I got a couple nice hits at the end, but me and basketball just don't fucking make it. I can't remember what this break was, but I hit two. Not one, but two. Al Horford out of 49, out of Prism. I think I might have been a mixer with Firehead. One, two. I ain't... Uh, uh, Greg Thomas, 82, I'll tell you that. And then I got in the gala break. I got the Lakers. I got the Lakers. They tell me almost a Kobe comes out every lake, out of, out of, every, out of gala, almost every case. Well, I hit a, uh, oh, God, the auto I hit sucks. I got a 99. I got this Kareem, not an autograph. But I did it a Kobe and a uh, Jordan Clarkson jersey, that not numbered. Out of 60, out of 60, and eBay 101. My auto? <laughs> oh, God, crazy like a fox. Number one, number one, eBay 101. One out of 25, Slick Rick Fox. This wasn't my day, and I don't know how the hell I got this. I, got a, I don't know how the hell I got this. I didn't have two teams in there. 31 out of 49, I got an Allen Iverson out of Gal. I don't know how, if I should have got that or not, but no one's called me on it. Me and basketball just don't get along. How about a little baseball? This is a fire round of prime cuts. Hit a Colin Ray out of San Diego, number 99. And I got a Tony and Tony Gwynn. I usually get the Padres in these fucking prime cuts. This is uh Tony Gwynn. Not a number, I don't think. Oh, yeah, 9 and 99. And I also hit a uh, Luis Gonzalez. Out of Pathion. My one hit there. And I was in the Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards. Tops Chrome break. No, no, I want Tops. Tops Chrome? What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, high Tech. I had the Braves and I had another team. I had a couple three teams. I didn't have shit except for the Braves. I got an Aaron Blair autograph. And a Tom Glavin, which I didn't have a Tom Glavin. I believe he's Hall of Fame. He was pretty sup superstar. Michael Fabian. One of the best guys on here. You give him a sub. If you're not sub to him. If you want to do group breaks, he's a good guy. His prices are cheap. Just can't. He's one of the few people I will actually send friends and family to. One of the very few. It's hard to trust anybody around here. I'm in one of these Facebook groups. If y'all are, uh, if I ain't the ones I ain't kicked out of. <laughs> oh, what is it? Scam? I can't even remember what it's called. Scammer or something. Ah, oh, fuck. But anyway, there's like 4,000 people in there. I don't even know how. I never even asked to get in there. Someone just put me in there. Unbelievable how many scams go on all the time. Let's see if we can find what's called here. Well, how the hell can there not be a scam? Today hasn't been one today. It's unbelievable how many scams and how many people don't ship. That's why I like YouTube. Yeah, there's scams there too, but not as often. It doesn't seem like because you get to know some people, but unbelievable it's like i never want to trade with anybody again everybody scam 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 it's all it is scam then they block people it's just unreal 
unbelievable that the, oh, the shit that goes on that you don't even know about. Insane, man. Just insane. Anyway, then I was in his prison break at the Rams, and I had like three teams in that too. Out of 25, I hit this. Jared Goff. Oh, that's camo or what the fuck that is? Something. Out of 25. Nice hit there. Fast shipping. Thank you, sir. Um, God, the scam just blows my mind. It makes me know how to trade anybody again. Let's say I had a bunch of shit. Hurry up. I had the Patriots in a gala break of football. Did I hit anything big? No. Got this Brady out of 49, Everett. And then I was in a, uh, what's it called? Honors. I, had the, I bought two teams, I think. I had the Saints and the Patriots. 31 of 50. Here's hey, Everett. How about this? 67 and 99. Rob Gronkowski. And I did get one hit out of uh, 99, 20 to 95. Jacoby Brissett. It actually came in case, too. So that's that, uh, Everett. What do you think of that? You want that? Then I got a select break. Got another couple times. I picked the Vikings once, and I got the Giants in another one. Nice stuff, but you got to hit. I did hit this. Uh, RBI number one. It's already redeemed, so. The Vikings, I got Lacan for Claude. No, 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 no. Laquan Treadwell. He fucking might be a bust. How about this? AP, he's going to be a Packer probably. I don't know what the hell that is. It's just fucking all kinds of colors there. It's kind of nice. And then I hit Laquan Treadwell there too. And for the Giants, I hit a Jason Pierre Paul. What a big fucking VZ. Where have you been? God, I hit a nice goal. Oh, yeah. I hit a nice, I hit a nice goal. I'll show you right now. Number two, five of ten. For the New York Giants, two color, a little bit of stitching on there. Mr. Paul Perkins, ladies and gentlemen, out of number to ten. I don't. He's a running back, I believe. But hit that. Oh, and uh, the other one, I hit a prism. Uh, my, I forgot about these Tannehill prism and uh, Mike Thomas. I don't know if that's fuck. I don't even know what the hell they call. It. They got all these names. Some other breaks. And this must have been Eastern Connecticut sports car too with the green tape. Hey, where's the blue mask, man? The blue mask tape. I work for 3M, and we make the blue mask. You want blue mask? I get you all the blue mask you want. Green? Come on, man. Go help a guy out. Elson Aguilar, 99. I do work for 3M, actually. Uh, out of uh, 99, Tyler Boyd. And we do make the blue mask. I can get you all you want. Oh, how about this from a while back? Number to 25, Eastern Connecticut sports card for the win. Timmy Brown. Out of 25. How about this? Brad 8671. Number to 25. Devante, or no, Kenyon Drake. Another, holy shit, that's one, two, three. That's four color. Hey, hey, I'm having a great time. I just got done working seven fucking 12s in a row. Now I get seven days off. How about that? Nice fucking card there. Kenyon Drake, uh, number I told you, number 17 or 25, yeah. And we also got a Byron Marshall from the Eagles. And, oh, this black gold. I must have had the Bills or some Mike Thomas, Joey Bosa, Paxton Miller, and Cordero Jones. Uh, number 149. Now I get to the good stuff. I was in uh, Mustache Mondays. Irving, love Irving. I got a little clear vision. Had the Vikings. We got 40 out of 40. We got Fran the Man. I posted these on Facebook in AR Felk's room, but some of you didn't see them. Then a couple of Alan Page picks up, and then a one on one Super Fractor coming, boys. I better hurry up because I'm going to bull some bullshit here. Uh, the Press Pass Legends. I don't remember what year this is. Now to 85, Alan Page. And this is a nice one here. Guy gave me a good deal on this. Three color, numbered out of, God, it's 7 of 10, out of uh, certified. Alan Page for the Alan Page PC. I've also, I've been just fucking uploading all my cards to, or a bunch of them anyway, to a sports card album. And I'm just getting like the Vikings PC. Thanks to everybody that has ever sent me, because I don't hardly look for Vikings stuff anymore. The new rookies come out. I don't believe in buying big, paying big money for big new rookies, because look at look, Treadwell, he sucked. Thanks to everybody that ever sent me any of the Viking stuff because most of that PC is all you guys or group breaks. And I appreciate it. 
and I never got rid of one of them. I saw from the VZ, the big VZ first printing play with Sidney Rice, all the way down to whoever just gave me the last cards. I got them all. Never got rid of one. The Christian Ponder PC is looking, still looking big. <laughs> How about this? Super Duper Fractor on a tribute. I had the Astros. This is a one on one. Little patch in here. Jose Altuve Super Motherfucking Fractor. What up, Brad8671 and Greg Thomas? I put Brad8671 in for my deal, and that's when I hit this. Boom! Super Duper Fractor, numbered 101. Can you tell? Can you tell? 101. Pick it up, Cammy. I gotta get a new camera. Hey, it's right there. 101. Oh, it's right over here. Hey, I knew it all the time. Super motherfucking fractor. Josh Reynolds in the room. That's all the cards I got. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh now what's going on in the hobby? Uh I can't remember what the guy's name is. Uh 24 in the note, whatever the San Francisco collector. Uh watch one of his videos talking about Instagram and all that stuff. It's hard to make videos for people. I still don't believe. The social media can give you the raw emotion of when you send something. Like, Stal Style got, God, was it uh, Nick that sent him something? Saints fan always. Or even uh, Burt Cat, or not Burt Cat. Uh, you show your hits when he got that two cards from Saints fan always. Just the raw emotion of someone pulling the card, they don't know what it is and seeing it. You can't capture that in just a picture, in my view. Stal Style got those cards sent to him. Just his reaction alone was just worth the whole time made the video and watched the video. Putting stuff on Facebook and stuff, I do it a little bit, not very often. I rarely look at them when people do. They put them pictures up, they're this big. I can't, my eyes are bad. I can't see all that shit. I can't get a good look. When you can take a card and you can go like, whoa, we got shit falling over. You can go, you know, get up in here and show that baby off and really get the raw emotion. That's where YouTube's the king in my book. But that's just me. You know, I know it takes time and Instagram and all that's probably great. You can post it right now. People can see it. Still ain't as good as a raw video, I'm telling you. Anyway, enough of that bullshit. I don't know what they ain't got on that thing for, but so I agree with them. It's like right now on Facebook. I rarely look at the stuff on Facebook unless I'm interested. I mean, I look at it, but if it's like 20 cards, I'm not going to blow my picture up and just, it don't interest me. I'd rather see it on video. But I'm an old guy. Um, so you get into, uh, I can't think of the guy's name. The guy that, Timmy, whatever his name is. I watch one of his videos. That guy is totally taking advantage of kids, in my view. But you know what? Parents got to pay attention, I guess. I, I don't agree with how he operates, but what am I to say? He's making it. And all these people doing the uh, cashing in on monetizing and all that. I found a website with like YouTube stuff on it. Even my videos, if I would monetize, I'd make like four cents, I think. I don't know how it all works, but... You got to have big views. And he's got them. He's got three, four, five thousand. That probably adds up to something. I don't know how that works. If people do it, I don't really care. That's up to them. But to beg people, tell people to send you shit. That's just, I mean, I don't, I just don't get it. I mean, he's totally, like some little kids, he can have them. You know, I know there's probably kids watch my videos too. I mean, how you do it? Now you go, Ricky Russo. I love me some Ricky. Um, the thing that amazes me about Ricky, and Ricky, if you're watching, I, I, I think you're great. You give a lot of stuff away. Ricky is by far the opposite the other way. Ricky's not out to take anything from anybody. He won't even let you send him anything. Ricky's high end. Ricky is high. You guys have no idea how big he really is, in my view. You can't break $3,000 cases like they're candy unless you got the money. And he's got it. Is he the godfather? He ain't the godfather of nothing in my book. He may be to you guys. He didn't bring this hobby around. You kidding me? His videos get what? Plus, he's giving shit away. 300 views. Fuck, A.R. Falcon should get five, six, seven, eight hundred views. He wouldn't give nothing away. I mean, it is what it is. Ricky was going to leave. Remember, you're back in a while ago. Ricky was going to leave. He's going to make all these videos. All these videos. I'm down to 50 videos, guy. Hope down to 10. My last video, you're only going to see me once in a while. He's on more than ever. And you can't expect to get a lot of views, Ricky, if you got, you're putting videos up. Every 15 a day. And I watch a lot of his videos. I like my seeing what he's breaking. I really do. I think it's great. But Ricky, by far, does a lot more good than these other clowns do. Bye. It's not even close. Now, I'm not saying that just because he sent me something. I don't, I don't care if he ever sends me. I don't need him to send me anything. I just bit out or not bit out. I just threw a guess in this one thing. Didn't think I'd win, and I won. Then he sent me free cards. But 
uh, I don't know, if I put rant in my video, people just want to see me be loud and freak out. They don't give a shit what I'm showing. If I put rant in the video, I guarantee I'll get 300 views. If I don't, I maybe get 100. That's the way it is. You can't, I'm not going to beg anybody to watch my videos. I don't give a shit. Anyway, we're 15 minutes of your day, but these other guys, don't take advantage of kids, man. That's just wrong in my view. It's just wrong. But one thing I got to say about Ricky, you know, like Ricky's mystery packs. Someone said, you're going to get into them. No, I got a cold going on. I got no clinics. Anyway, uh, Ricky's high end. And I'm not knocking him. Not knocking him at all. The, the stuff he puts in mystery packs, are they worth it? Absolutely. If you're going to pay 25 bucks, get 14 hits? Absolutely. Because you know why? He don't want to put them on eBay for two bucks a hit. He's not giving away Zeke Elliott's and all this other stuff in the mystery packs. It's not like he's giving away $15, $25 cards. But are they worth it? If you went and put them all on eBay, yeah, you're goddamn right they're worth it. Ricky don't deal in this stuff. He would never give it away if it was worth it. He's all escarole and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I ain't knocking him. I'm just telling you how it is. I know the goddamn what's going on. I can make Ricky Russo packs. I can easily do it. I got two boxes full of stuff from group breaks that I can put five, 15 hits in of the guys like this and give them away for 25 bucks. Absolutely. Would they be worth it? Yeah. Does he have, do I want them? If I'm going to get in a mystery pack, I want a chance to hit something big. And I'll pay for it. I mean, 25 bucks, you ain't going to get that. 50 bucks, 75 bucks. I told Ricky. I even told him, you put the goal higher end, I could do it. But you got to make it worth the while. And he does. Those $25 packs for young kids and stuff that want to get hits, totally worth it. If you go sell them on eBay. Because Ricky don't mess around. His guy that he probably sells the stuff doesn't want to piss around with $2 cards. I wouldn't either. I don't either. That's why I got, I ain't listen chipper like a buck on eBay. It's pain in the ass. But one thing that just shocked me, if you think everything's so great and he gives it away, he can do what he wants. The guy can afford more than sending in a PWE. These were sent to PWE. Ricky, they're free. No, not, not, not. I'm just saying. How much does he really value these cards if he sends them to PWE? Does he send his big hits in PWEs? I doubt it. If he gets someone he buys on eBay for 500 bucks, if he gets into PWEs, he's going to be pissed off. You're damn right. I bet he is. He can afford bubble mailers and shipping it right. No doubt in my mind, you can hate me for it, fuck, come and ramp my video down, I don't care. PWE is not for me. Ricky, you know goddamn well you can do better than that, and you can afford it. You're a freaking multi-millionaire, you gotta be for the, the cards you break. And maybe as a godfather in mob, I don't know, maybe I'll be dead by tomorrow, I don't know, I'm not knocking my love, Ricky, I watch his videos quite often. I can't watch every one, because you know, he makes so many a day, and he pills high end, Ricky's high end. And why has he got a good collection? He pays for it, but you know what? If you open case after case after case after case, you better have a goddamn good collection. You know what I'm saying? You better have one. I mean, my God, he just strikes up like fucking Gary Payton out, whatever fuck it's five bucks, ten bucks. To some people, that'd be a big hit. Ricky, no, it's all about the money, man. And you know what? When you spend that money, you should expect to get something back. No doubt about it. He, like I said, he he's far opposite of taking advantage of people at all because you can't even send him anything. He's just that way, and whatever reason he's got, that's his business, ain't mine. Maybe he's in the witness protection program. I don't know. But obviously he's approachable. You can go to his car shows and meet the guy. I'd love to meet the guy. I love to sit on bullshit with him. He gives out so much shit, but he's got to almost beg you to do something, to, to comment on his videos or do whatever, and that's pretty sad. You guys, most of you guys take advantage of him. You only get in there when it's free, and that's that's just sad, really. I mean, it really is, but that's how it is. I put around my videos, I get a lot of views. If I don't, I don't get as many. That's just how, the, how people are. If you're giving shit away, people jump right in. Oh, yeah, I love me some Ricky. And Ricky also does shout-outs and tries to get people to go to other channels. He's, he's a good guy, no doubt about it. But I'm just saying, he's got when he's giving his stuff away, he ain't giving Dak Prescott autos away. I mean, think about what he's giving away. Whenever you guys get something from him, how often is it a $50 card? Never. I wouldn't give away $50 cards either. But you just, I mean, yeah, he gives it away. And now, yeah, I'm not bitching about getting these at PWE. I just think if you're going to respect the hobby and respect what you're sending, you ship it the right way. That's just my view. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe everybody's thinking I'm a dumbass. I have never shipped in a PWE. Never will I. Think of that, Ricky. Oh, you know, I'm just thinking that. Tommy Golf's coming at you on that one. PWE ain't for me, buddy. You know better. God damn it. You're no dummy. You've been around, you fucking know the game. Think about it. I'm out. 20 minutes longest video in the fucking history. Rant me out all you want. I don't give a fuck because I know who my friends are on here and they'll beat her like me or not. The rest of you, 
Hope you're doing well. Gotta roll. Love you, Mr. Riggy. Be good. Be honest. Tommy Gosso. Peace. Love you guys. You show your head, brother. Be well.